In Adobe Dimension cameras are objects that are used to simulate a view in the scene. Just like real cameras, they can be positioned to capture a view from a certain angle and can be modified to adjust focal length and depth of field. Camera menu includes following commands and shortcuts. Camera undo, go one step back in the history of camera navigations. Shortcut, home. Camera Redo, go one step forward in the history of camera navigations. Shortcut, End. Frame Selection, move the active camera to bring the selected object into view. Shortcut, F. Frame All, move the active camera to the bounds of the entire scene. Shortcut, Shift plus F. Frame All Mesh Objects, Moves the active camera to the bounds of all mesh objects in the scene, ignores non-mesh objects like cameras and lights. Shortcut, Alt plus F. Frame all non-mesh objects, moves the active camera to the bounds of all non-mesh objects in the scene, cameras, lights. Shortcut, Alt plus Shift plus F. Add camera creates a new camera object and sets the viewport to display it. Shortcut, Alt, Grave Accent. Switch to Last Camera, sets the viewport to display the viewport camera. Shortcut, Grave Accent. Switch to Previous Camera, sets the viewport to display the previous camera in the camera list. Shortcut, Page Up. Switch to Next Camera, sets the viewport to display the next camera in the camera list. Shortcut, Page Down. Camera Views, sets the current camera view to standard viewing angles such as top, front, and back. Shortcuts for camera views are Top, Alt plus 1. Front, Alt plus 2. Left, Alt plus 3. Right, Alt plus 4. Back, Alt plus 5. Bottom, Alt plus 6. Front right, Alt plus 7. Front left, Alt plus 8. Back left, Alt plus 9. Back right, Alt plus 0. To create a camera, use the Add Camera button at the top of the viewport. Use the Camera A New Camera menu command. Use the default shortcut. Alt, Grave Accent. Transform Properties. The Transform tab of the Properties panel is shared by all objects. All 3D objects can also be positioned with the Transform tools. Cameras are unique that they can be selected and moved as a 3D object but also directly in the viewport with the camera tools. All cameras are visible in Scene Panel and you can toggle them on or off from Scene. Camera Properties Output Size Sets the size the camera will render at and the aspect ratio used for the viewport camera frame. W sets the width. H sets the height. Constrain proportions to maintain aspect ratio between width and height when editing. Rendering cameras. Use multiple cameras to capture your scene from different perspectives and with different camera settings. In the Render tab you can choose to render from one or more of your cameras at the same time. Camera selection. A list of cameras to render. If no camera objects are available this section will be hidden and the viewport camera will be rendered instead. Override camera size. Sets all cameras to render at a specific size. When off, cameras will render using their size, set in properties a camera size. Background. Select an image to use as a background and set the background visibility on or off. 
Drag and drop or click on the image swatch to select an image from your device. Use Match Image to automatically composite your 3D scene to background images. Focal Length Sets the camera viewing angle arc switch from focal length to field of view, as desired. Focal length is based on photographic camera terminology and the measurement of a camera lens. Field of view is the amount in degrees the camera will be able to view. You can use two method, focal length and field of view. Unit for focal length are millimeter. By default it is set to 50 millimeter and default range is 12 to 2062 millimeter. Unit for field of view are degrees. By default it is set to 39.6 degrees and default range is 1 to 179 degrees. Depth of field. Depth of field is the effect of a camera having a focus area and other content in the fore and background becoming blurred. Depth of field can be changed from properties panel. Toggles whether the camera emulates depth of field by blurring out of focus areas. While depth of field is toggled off everything the camera can see will be in focus. Set focus point. Click in the viewport to focus the camera on any surface in your scene. The focus point remains consistent once it has been set. As you move the camera the focal distance will auto-adjust to keep the focus point. Blur Amount The strength of the blurring effect for out-of-focus areas.